Well, I think Japan holds a special place in every judo player's heart. You know, if, if you if you do judo, if you love judo, then you kind of kind of love Japan because it's it's their sport. It's the sport they give to the world. And you know, I've spent a lot of time in my career training there, but also competing there. And you know, it's been a, a pretty healthy hunting ground for me as far as competition. You know, as I've as I've said, I won the Tokyo Grand Slam, but I also medaled in the Tokyo Grand Slam the year after that, and I won one of my two World Championship medals in Tokyo. Um, so it's always been somewhere that's been special to me, not just because I've done well there, but um, you know, I totted up at one point in my, in my life, towards the end of my career, I worked out that I'd spent um, somewhere between one and two years uh, at Tokai University um, because I'd gone for six to eight weeks almost every year from being a 19 year old right the way through to the end of my career. And, um, you know, I've got a lot, a lot to thank for the, the beatings that I took there, but also you know, the coaches who encouraged me when I was there. And, um, you know, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a Tokai University alumni or anything like that, but I, I certainly love the place. I love being in, in and around Tokyo and uh, in Japan. And, you know, I, I've had an interesting relationship with some of the coaches that are there. The first time I went to Japan for six weeks, uh, Mr. Yamashita took me to a, a, a Japanese onsen out in the middle of the countryside, and we were walking walking around in this onsen with Japanese people just stunned. I think, not sure whether they were stunned because there was a Westerner in this onsen or whether they were stunned because they were in the presence of Mr. Yamashita. But, um, you know, I, I was told that he... He had said after my victory in, in the Grand Slam in Tokyo, someone had asked him what they, what they thought, and he said, oh, well, Burton, um, it, it wasn't a performance that was filled with the most technical finesse, but it was filled with mo the most spirit. Um, and, you know, some people might take that as a slur, but I take that as a massive compliment because I think um, technique is one thing, and it's fantastic to have great technique, but it's also great to have good spirit.